Hello, I'm KRS. I am the best when it comes to talking to the rest. Oranges. They are healthy for you, right? I hope so! They are one of the many fruits in our current world, and they also star in a hit YouTube series, The Annoying Orange, a series about an orange that is clearly annoying, who lives in the kitchen where he encounters... Death. Huh? The web series eventually got so popular that Cartoon Network gave the show a series on their own network, which premiered on May 28th, 2012. The High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange. The show had a total of two seasons and 60 episodes. And I know it did better than the Problem Solvers, but honestly, that's an achievement every show should have. The show didn't really please people when it appeared, and it slowly became one of, if not the worst Cartoon Network show to ever be made. And the weird part about this is, this show had guest stars. I mean, Mark Hamill, Weird Al Yankovic, Jim Parsons, um, um, Rain Wilson, all those people. But whatever. Let's take a look. This is the first episode of The High Fructose Adventures of the Annoying Orange. The first episode was titled Marshmalia, and it's basically an episode from Star Trek. That's it! I don't know what episode they're mocking, but they have a scary rock candy monster who's played by John DiMaggio. Not yay! Boo! Boo! I mean... Oh no! He's unstoppable because no one wants to eat him! One of the problems that I have with this first episode that it doesn't really establish the world that takes place in the show. Take for example... I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! SpongeBob SquarePants! In Help Wanting, you got a feel of the undersea world, mainly by the characters Spongebob interacts with, as well as the side characters having time for the audience to learn about them and their world. Here, you don't really have time to learn about the fruits, the veggies, or... Oh, I'm not touching that guy's career! Another thing I noticed is how cheap the show feels. This is because the software used to make the show was Adobe Creative Suit. The majority of people were turned off because the animation looked so cheap, but it matched exactly what the YouTube videos looked like. But then again, not everyone is open to a television series about talking fruits. Now fire! Oh no, they have lasers! Not only that, but the episode felt extremely short in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I understand short run times and two episodes in one, but this is one episode. Why didn't they make it longer than 11 minutes? Sit and Ducks had a total of 13 minutes per episode for both stories, making the total run time of one said episode 26 minutes, thus making it perfect for them to air the episodes as well as air commercials in between. Are there any pros to this? They did have that song Wobble playing in it. Yeah, you know that song that came out in 2008, playing in this show, that came out in 2012. Marshmallia was the first episode of the High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange. It premiered on May 28, 2012 on Cartoon Network. It wasn't really that interesting or impactful to warrant more episodes. I think the main reason why this show had a high percent of viewers watching was because of the fans of the YouTube show. This show could have been very good if the writing made sense as well as being original and not trying to parody other famous ideas. Weird Al Yankovic does parodies of popular songs, but the reason why they work is because he makes them original and turns them into his own ideas. Even Ninja Sex Party covers popular songs with their own instrumental. The show may have started the trend of YouTubers getting a spotlight on television, but the show began the long curse of bad YouTuber shows. And although this series had creative talent working on it, whether it be the voice acting or whatever this is... Yeah, man. We be ready, man. It shows that Carrot did go into the show, and it wasn't just a means of making money. Which is why on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being bad and 10 being rad, I give Marshmallia, or the first episode of the High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange, a 2 out of 10. I'm KRS, and I am changing my diet for the better of myself, as well as for quality and entertainment. Vegetables. Veggie, veggie, it's 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 veggie, it